Our message today is uh, I entitled Jesus Wants to Minister to You. Alam niyo ba na kalakasan at kagalakan ng Panginoon na magminister sa atin. It, it, is, it is His delight, His joy in you drawing from Him ang lumapit sa Kaniya. Alam mo ninyo, uh, in our text, John chapter 4, verse 31 up to 34, ito po yung tagpo na kung saan ang ating Panginoong Isokristo po ay uh, Uh, nagpahinga sa isang uh, balon ano? at uh, ang mga alagad naman ay naghanap ng pagkain sabagat sila ay pagod na pagod kasama ang ating Panginoon pero nung dumating po ang mga alagad uh, at uh, na may dalang pagkain ay uh, eto po yung tagpo in verse 31 chapter 4 in the book of John the meantime his disciple urged him saying Rabbi or teacher it Kain po tayo. But Jesus said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. I have food to eat of which you do not know. Therefore the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him anything to eat? And Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Isa po sa kagalakan ng ating Panginoon at kalakasan po niya nung siya po nandito po sa lupa ay ang magampanan, ang kalooban ng kanyang ama at magampanan ng kanyang mission. You know, napakahalaga po na malaman natin what is our mission in this world. I do believe na hindi po tayo Uh, aksidente na naparito sa mundong ito we have a mission to do and uh, there is also a purpose especially sa pagkalikha at pagbibigay sa atin ng Diyos ng buhay well I want you to know that uh, the main purpose and the main plan of God for every one of us even to your loved ones is that for you and me to have relationship fellowship union with the Son, Jesus Christ. Yan po ang uh, isa sa main purpose why you are created. To be in Christ. To be in union with Christ. Hallelujah. Now let's go back to our text. Ang uh, gusto ko pong bigyan ng uh, emphasis this morning in our text is that in verse 32, yung sinabi ng ating Panginoon na I have food to eat of which you do not know. Ano po yung food ni Lord? Okay? Na hindi natin na alam. Yun yung nagbibigay. Kasi kapag food, ibig sabihin, yun po yung nagbibigay ng kalakasan. Kapag tayo po'y nangihina, physically, pag tayo po'y kumain, lumalakas po tayo. Ganun din naman. We need to know our food spiritually. Kasi, Kadalasan sa panghihina natin ay nangihina tayo not uh, because we are lacking uh, physical food but we are lacking spiritual food. At uh, minsan uh, we want to relax ourselves, we go places just to relax our, uh, ourselves and yet nangihina pa rin. Alam nyo kung anong kulang? It is a spiritual food. It is an embrace of the Lord. A word coming from the Lord. Okay? So, sa ating Panginoong Isus, ang kanyang pagkain ay ang makapag-minister sa atin. It is His delight to minister to you and God, Jesus Christ, refreshes and strengthens every time uh, He ministers to people when He was here on earth. Okay? Tayo, mga tao, Kapag lumapit sa atin yung mga tao at humihingi sa atin. Okay? At uh, yung iba naman nakadepende na sa atin, no? Uh, you may end up stressed. Lalong-lalo na ang dami-daming mga humihingi, <laughs> ang dami-daming mga uh, nakadepende sa iyo, ang dami mong sinusuplayan. We end up stressed sometimes, tired. And uh, sometimes we are irritable. 
or naiiritable na po tayo. No? Pero sa ating Panginoong si Kristo, hindi po ganon. When people draw from Him, He is strengthened and refreshed. So magkaiba ang uh, uh, pakiramdam natin uh, sa Panginoon. Tayo, because of course, sometimes uh, we have limitations. Well, we are uh, willing to minister to people. We are willing to uh, meet their needs. But sometimes we are not able. At uh, ang bunga noon, napapagod po tayo. Pero alam nyo, ang ating Panginoong Isus, it, it, it is His delight. We know that Jesus is uh, God, right? He was uh, the Word from the beginning and He was with God and He is God. According to John chapter 1. And uh, you know what? Every time we come to the Lord, we honor God when you take your place as a man and let God be God by drawing from Him. If we come to God, drawing to Him, no? and uh, depending on Him, yan po yung kagalakan ng Panginoon. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, siya na nagsabi na, I did not come to be served, but to serve loves it when you allow Him to minister to you. So, allow the Lord to minister to you. Alam niyo ba na kadalasang naituro sa atin ng religion ay yung meron tayong gagawin para sa Diyos. Yung bagay na isasakripisyo mo para sa Diyos. But you know, in this new covenant, Kakaiba ang itinuro ng ating Panginoon. He came to serve. Okay? To be served. Uh, not, not, not to be served, but to serve. He came to minister unto us. At yan po yung kagalakan ng uh, Panginoon. Kaya, He delighted to minister to you. Alam natin, ano, na yung pangyayari po dito doon sa ah... Uh, meet up ni Lord doon sa Samaritan woman. Pag sinabi po nating Samaritan, ito po yung grupo ng mga tao na uh, mix ang kanila pong uh, race, no? yung uh, mga pinanggalingan po nila, nakipag-asawa po sila sa mga hindi uh, uh, hudyo. At uh, dahil dito ay tinuturing po ng mga hudyo na sila ay makasalanan sabagat sila ay nahaloan. Ano? Nang uh, ibang lahi o ibang uh, dugo. Na dumating po ang Panginoon doon sa Sikar uh, habang sila po'y naglalakad. Ano? Siya po'y napagod. He was wearied from the journey and rested at a well doon sa isang balon. Eto, tingnan nyo, ha? isang babaeng makasalanan, a sinful Samaritan woman came to the well to draw water. We know the story. And uh, the Lord Jesus Christ ministered to her. At alam nyo ba, nung nagminister po ang Panginoon sa babaeng ito, hindi po niya inisa-isa ang kanyang kasalanan. Okay? Kundi ipinakita niya ang kanyang pagtanggap sa babaeng ito. Ay, makasalanan yan. Hindi tayo makipag-usap yan. No? Yan, hindi po ganun ang ginawa ni Lord. Pero, yung pong babae na uh, nakatagpo sa Panginoon, ay uh, nagkaroon siya ng kagalakan sa puso. You know, umalis po siya doon sa pag-ibag-usap sa Panginoon na punong-puno ng kagalakan para ipatutuo sa tao na natagpo niya ang Mesiyas. No? She left rejoicing with the promise of living water. Sabagat sinabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, I am the living water. Now, ang gusto ko pong ipaabot sa atin dito ngayon, when Jesus ministered, to this uh, Samaritan woman, a sinful Samaritan woman, yung pong ministeryohan niya ay nagkaroon ng deliverance, nagkaroon ng kagalakan. So if Jesus minister to you, you will get, you know, refreshed, you will get love, you will get, you know, strengthened, at you feel accepted. So you are rejoicing. Ano? Sabi nga po dito sa Bible, tanghaling tapat. <laughs> Ang babaeng ito ay uh, pumunta sa balon para 
mag-igib. Alam ba ninyo na ang oras ng pag-iigib ng mga tao ay umaga at saka hapon yung hindi mainit kasi mainit po doon. No? Bakit katanghali ang tapat? Sabi nga ng mga scholar ay uh, unang dahilan ay uh, siguro para walang masyadong tao. At uh, ang mga tao sa paligid ay kilala siya. Ano, maring pinagchichismisan siya no? dahil sa kanyang kalagayan kasi nga naman sabi nga ni Lord ay uh, panglimang asawa niya yung kanyang uh, kinakasama. And yet the Lord ministered to her. Wow! What a love! And she was so overwhelmed with joy when the Lord ministered to her. At ito po yung napakaganda rito. No? Nung ang Panginoon ay uh, nagminister sa kanya, siya na pagod na pagod. Ang ating Panginoon ay lumakas. Kaya dito niya sinabi no, nung dumating ang ating panga, kanyang mga alagad. When the disciple returned with food, okay? Nakita nila na si Jesus ay napalakas na. They found Jesus Christ already strengthened and refreshed. Bakit? Nakapag-minister na po siya doon sa uh, Samaritan woman. So when they wondered who had given him food while they were away, and they told them, Okay, sinabi ng Panginoon, I have food to eat of which you do not know. Hindi nyo alam. Alam nyo ba kung ano ang food ni Lord? It is His food to minister to you. And when the Lord ministered to you, katulad po ng babaeng ito, na makasalanan. Siya po ay na-deliver, na puno ng kagalakan. Naranasan niya ang pagtanggap ng Diyos sa kanya. Kapatid, sometimes you are drawing away yourself from the Lord and to, to, to many people because you feel like you are condemned. You feel like people are not uh, you know, accepting you or people are rejecting you. Come to Jesus and allow the Lord to minister to you. Allow Jesus to minister to you. Your life will never be the same again. Marami tayong mga iniisip minsan, lalong-lalo ng mga nakaraan at sa sitwasyon mo sa ngayon. Meron pa bang tatanggap sa akin? Meron pa bang magmamahal sa akin? Meron pa bang uh, makakaunawa sa kalagayan ko? My friend, I want you to know, Today, when you draw from Jesus and let Him minister to you, it is His food for Him that refreshes and strengthens Him. Meaning, it is His delight. It is His joy. And surely, you will receive supernatural strength, supernatural joy, supernatural peace. When you allow the Lord to minister to you, just come to Him. Come to Him. Oh, I tell you, ang kasagutan ng uh, panalangin o ng problema na matagal mo nang daladala at naghahanap ka ng kasagutan, matatagpuan mo sa ating Panginoon. But you know what? It takes humility for us to allow Jesus to minister to us. Minsan kasi, nagkakaroon tayo ng pride. We take pride in doing things for the Lord. Sometimes, we are uh, thinking that uh, kaya ko naman to. Kaya ko to. Kinakailang gawin ko ito. Lalong-lalo na if you're thinking that uh, you're gonna wash first yourself, you're gonna prepare first yourself, uh, make yourself first worthy bago ka lumapit sa Panginoon. Alam nyo ba, parang ano, parang uh, akala natin that is humility. No? That is pride. Why? Sabagkat inaakala mo na kaya mong linisin ang sarili mo, inaakala mo na kaya mong gumawa ng isang bagay na para sa Panginoon, para malugod siya sa'yo. There is only one way for a person to be pleasing in the sight of God. That is believing that God loves you. Believing what Christ has done at the cross and accept the finished work of Jesus na siya lamang ang tanging nakakapag-qualify sa'yo para ikaw ay maging katanggap-tanggap sa Panginoon. 
you can see ano, a, hu- a humble person uh, can see in himself that he is nothing none of him and he can declare all of God lahat ay mula sa Diyos my friend if you want Jesus to minister to you take humility meaning Lord wala talaga akong magagawa Lord wala akong kakayahan para baguhin ang buhay ko wala akong kakayahan para ang lahat ng meron ako ay i-manage ko kung wala ka you know we want to build our business right we want to build our families we want to bless our families and even the ministries that we have lahat po na yung mabubuti all of that is good but you know without Jesus we are spiritually bankrupt alam niyo ba ang dahilan kung bakit maraming tao na hindi sila nakakapag uh, they have no time reading their Bible they have no time coming to church to worship God they have no time to expose themselves in the Lord and having time to fellowship with the Lord because they are so much busy building their business they are so much busy doing things na akala nila kung hindi sila kikilos ay walang mangyayari alam po ninyo hindi ibig sabihin na wala tayong gagawin sa ating negosyo sa ating trabaho Bag, pero ang aking ipinapaabot ngayon is you need to come first to Jesus and allow the Lord to minister first and foremost to you and you know the Lord will give you all the wisdom the strength the power the supernatural ability to manage your business and even your families we really have nothing to give to the Lord and His work What we need to do first, my friend, is to receive from Him because when we freely receive from Him, we are able to freely give. Bago natin gawin ang lahat ng bagay, kailangan unahin natin tumanggap sa Diyos every day. Oh, I tell you, this is a was, most, the most wonderful privilege for every Christian. to have fellowship with Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. My friend, Jesus wants to minister to you. Don't try to minister to yourself. Don't try to minister to yourself. That is pride and self-righteousness. Alam niyo ba, uh, the Pharisees of uh, you know, Jesus' days who felt they did not need Him and they could provide for themselves They were the ones who could not receive from Jesus. Kung bakit ang mga pariseyo sa panahon ng Panginoon ay hindi nakatanggap ng blessing, hindi nakatanggap ng, uh, you know, uh, favor from the Lord because those Pharisees believed that, uh, you know, they can do it themselves and they don't need Jesus Christ. So yung mga pariseyo ay mga taong... Uh, naniniwala na kaya nila ang isang bagay without Jesus unto them. Oh, glory. Pero lahat po na tayo na naririto, we can say, Lord, I am nothing without you. I cannot do nothing. I can't do nothing without you, Lord. Pag-isulat nga po ninyo dyan para nang sa ganun hindi nyo makalimutan. I am nothing without you, Lord. And I can, I can do anything without you. Oh, glory to the name of the Lord. My friend, bring to Him your needs today. Bring to Jesus your needs today. And say, Lord, I need to draw from you. I present my needs to you. And Lord, minister to me. Allow the Lord to minister to you, my friend. And I tell you, When you allow the Lord to minister to you, you can see it in the Spirit that all your needs has already been granted. Hallelujah. Yung bagay na hindi mo kaya ay makakayanan mo if you allow the Lord to minister to you. If you make Jesus first in your life to minister to you. Kaya nga po, kapatid, ang taong nakakaunawa sa sinasabi ko ngayon, they delight 
and they have that joy coming in the worship place, coming in the place where the people of God gathering together, iniiwan nila ang lahat upang nang sa ganon ay makasama nila ang mga anak ng Diyos worshiping together. And they believe na yung kanilang negosyo ay pinapalago ng Panginoon. And even every morning when we wake up, we believe that the Lord will bless our business, our works, promotion will come unto us, salvation will come to our families in all our problems. God is in control. We know all of this when we come to Jesus first. Every time we wake up in the morning. Kanina bago po tayo magsimula uh, sa ating pong uh, devotion, I'm praying dyan po sa ating stage. I'm thanking the Lord. Oh, it's so good. It's so good to have fellowship with the Lord. We need to first receive from Jesus before we are able to freely give. Think about that. And the last word, the last verse that I'm going to uh, share to you this morning is this. Ang sabi ni Lord, Are you weary? Carrying a heavy burden? Are you weary? Pagod ka na ba? Kasi napapagod talaga tayo kapag uh, we do it ourselves. Ang sabi ni Lord, Come to me. Come to Jesus. I will refresh your life for I am your rest. Sino po ang kapahingan natin? Si Jesus. That's what Jesus says. Actually, yun po yung pagka-translate po ng uh, The Passion Translation dun sa Matthew 11, 28. Are you weary? Pagod ka na ba? Carrying a heavy burden? Jesus says, come to me. I will refresh your life. I am your oasis. I am your rest. Simply, my friend, join your life with mine, sabi ni Lord. Learn my ways and you'll discover that I'm gentle humble, easy to please. Actually, you will find refreshment and rest in me, says the Lord. Okay? Pakisalat na nyo ito. I will find refreshment and rest in Jesus. Bakit? Sabagkat si Jesus ang kapahingaan. Come to me and I will give you rest, sabi ni Lord, meaning... Ang kapahingahan ng buhay ay na kay Kristo. Kaya nga, He is the Lord of the Sabbath. He is the Sabbath actually. You want to take a rest? If you are resting, you are gaining strength. If you are resting, you are at peace. If you are resting, you are uh, rejuvenating. So you want to be rejuvenate? You want to be refreshed? You want to be strengthened? You want to get wisdom? Then come to Jesus, your rest. He is your rest. And the Lord says, all that I require of you will be pleasant and easy to bear. Alam niyo ba, ibig sabihin po na yung, ano, take my yoke. Ito po ay uh, uh, pag-anyaya ng pakikipag-isa sa Kanya. When Jesus says, take my yoke, He is inviting you to be one with Him. At yung daladala mo na siyang uh, kabigatan mo ay siya na ang magdadala. Okay. Lahat ng bagay na dala mo, siya na magdadala. Yun po ang ibig sabihin ng take my yoke. Okay? I am so gentle. If you, ano, if you uh, uh, put and wear the yoke of Jesus, meaning all of your burdens, all of, all your, all of your uh, worries, all of your cares, whatever it is, ang Lord ang magdadala. Oh, I tell you, Jesus delighted to minister to you, my friend. Come to Him. Come to Him. I declare right now rest to you. I declare refreshment to you. I declare right now wisdom to you in everything you do as you come to take a rest to Jesus and allowing the Lord to minister to you. In Jesus' name, receive your healing, receive your strength, receive your peace, receive your joy now. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. My friend, if you are new to this program, once again, say this prayer. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I believe in you. You are King and you are Lord. You are a Savior. So from now on, I declare, 
You are my Savior. You are my King. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sin. And thank you for the gift of eternal life. I love you, Lord, because you first loved me. In Jesus' name, amen. My friend, if you pray that simple prayer, I congratulate you. You are now belong to the kingdom of God.